Welcome everyone to another Wednesday night, The Fundamentals to Gain Inner Peace with your host, Coach Menachem Bernfeld. And tonight we're going to continue the conversation, the one we started last week for those who are with us. Conversation with our body. Um, like we mentioned, the body has a lot of information. And many of us know the idea, the body keeps the score. It keeps the information, it remembers, it has memories. Not always are we in touch, do we know what the body is saying. But to be able to spend a few minutes to listen to the body and ask, what does it have to say? Last week we started and pretty interesting, just in a few minutes people were able to connect just to that part, you know, the sensations in their body, connect to it, quiet down and listen. You can ask it questions and be surprised that it has what to say. Many times it doesn't, and you might not be able to connect, and you're not sure what you're hearing. You think it's your thoughts. You're not sure is that what my body is saying. It's okay. That's fine. Whatever comes up, and uh, we're continuing. So let's take a moment, come into the room, like we always try to do, just a few minutes, spending time with yourself. You can close your phone, leave everything outside of the room. Everybody will be okay. We'll get back to it in a few minutes. Time to take a deep breath and be with yourself. Can be scary for many, but we're doing this together. We have the support of each other. And just to relax, take the moment to be here, to be in the room. And just start with the awareness. What did my day look like? Where am I? What am I feeling? And deep breath in and out. You can become aware already of the body. Things slow down. You can start feeling sensations, maybe tired, and that's okay. Turning inwards, just basic. Just to come home, come here, be in touch. Here I am. Amazing. Okay, so last week we started the conversation. And if we don't release from our body, it stores. It stores it inside different spots, different spaces. And sometimes it comes out with different emotions, different feelings bodily sensations, felt sensations. Sometimes it can be just tingling. Just by taking a few deep breaths, you can start feel, you know, energy moving around in your body. Sometimes you feel tingling in your hands and your feet. And when those feelings come up, we have to remember compassion. It might say something you don't want to hear. Just listen validate whatever it brings up if it says something even if you think it makes no sense or you might say it happened so many years ago why are you bringing it up now just listen and in order to be able to listen we have to quiet down the mind slow down yes you will have a lot of thoughts and that's okay but we're quieting down and connecting with our body. So what we'll do to continue the conversation, we'll start with a short meditation, guided meditation. And uh, then we'll check in to see, you know, where you are, how it's going. We'll pause for a few minutes just for some feedback. And then we'll go in a little bit deeper 
we'll do it again for a few minutes. I'll guide you. And we'll go a little bit deeper, connect and listen. So basically two short meditations. And before we start, I want to set an intention and you can do the same. What would you want in the next few minutes by doing this meditation, by slowing down, by connecting to your body? So I'm setting the intention for myself or for whoever wants, for the group together. Setting an intention that we should be able to connect to our body, listen, listen to the messages, And that's it, being able to listen, to connect. Beautiful. Okay, so let's get started. Find a quiet space, make yourself comfortable. And just like last week, try to sit still as long as you can. And when you try to sit still, the body wants to move and sensations come up. So be aware of that. We'll try to quiet down and all we're gonna do is connect to our breath. So let's do that now, find this comfortable spot. Take a deep breath. And you'll be okay. Just stay there. Try not to move. Breathing in. And out, regular breathing, just connect to the breath. Become aware of your breathing. Try to stay in one spot. Beautiful, another deep breath in. And out. In and out. Beautiful. Try not to move. Just become aware of any sensations that come up in your body. Slowly, we can do a body scan. And scanning from the top of our head while we're breathing in and out. Become aware of what your head feels like. Go down to your forehead, your eyes, nose, mouth. Just continue down your jaws, your chin, your shoulders. Keep on breathing. And just feel any sensations in your stomach. All the way down your feet, your legs, and till your toes. Keep on breathing in and out while you're doing a body scan to see if any sensations come up. Beautiful. Now that you're aware of any sensation, that you would like to connect to, just put your hand on that body part, wherever it is, put your hand, it could be on your heart, it can be in your hands, your stomach, your feet, just put your hand there. Keep on breathing. And connect to it, connect to that part and tell it I'm here. And you can ask the question, what are you holding on to? Just keep on breathing and ask that part, what is it that you're holding on to? And just listen. In and out. Listen while you're breathing.
What is it that you're holding on to? What's the message you want me to know? You just listen. Whatever comes up, let it come up. Whatever message. Keep on breathing. Beautiful. Just be aware of whatever it wants to say, any message it wants to bring up. And tell it, I hear you. I hear you. I'm here. And thank it, whatever it says, any sensation, any message, thank it. Say thank you so much for sharing. Beautiful. Take a deep breath. You can uh, wiggle your toes, come back into the room. And just come back. Here we are. Beautiful. So that was our first short guided meditation, connecting and listening. And if you feel comfortable, you can let me know in the chat anything that came up, any sensations, messages, whatever it was. There is no judgment. There is no right or wrong. There's no it's working or not. It is what it is. And whatever you feel, you feel. And that's exactly what we're looking for. You might say I didn't feel anything. That's also what we're looking for. Just connecting and seeing I feel empty. No thoughts. No sensations. I can't connect. It's okay. Beautiful. So many things that are bothering me. Compassion. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Sometimes we're overwhelmed. It's good to have a pen and paper and just jot it down. You can't take care of it all now, but thank you for sharing. Thank it for sharing. When your body shares, you say thank you so much. It's something it wants to tell you during the day. It would love to tell you more often, but you might not have time. So now spending a few minutes with our body, allowing things to come up, and it says there are so many things that are bothering me. Say, wow, thank you. Everything was aching. Just be aware of it. Just be aware of those feelings. You can ask it, what are you scared of? Just, you know, to continue the conversation. We'll do it in a few minutes, but just becoming aware. I'm numb, I can't connect. That itself is connection. When you stop and you try to connect, and there is no connection. Just stay there and thank it. Say, I, I see you. There's nothing you want to tell me now. I'm sure there is, but you're not ready. That's okay. Thank you. Stomach pain. Telling me some of my kids' behavior is hard to digest. Beautiful. Write that down. Say thank you. Restlessness. Trying to center, clarify, confidence. Okay, whatever comes up, that's amazing. Felt relaxing. It was very nice, relaxing my knee and leg and ankle. Said I worked too hard. My jaws have felt too much stress. Thank it. Thank it again and again for sharing. Yes, it has messages to tell you. Hmm. Which is very nice, helpful, thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. Confidence, the task list will get done. Okay, so that's maybe worry. Feeling the worry in your body. Not sure if things will get done. Hmm. 
Beautiful. Just be aware of that. Isn't it nice that we can spend a few minutes time to connect to our body? And why is it so important? Because we don't want to suppress our emotions. Number one, we want to be able to release it. And number two, we might need to do something about it. It has important messages to tell us. We don't want to hear it. Sometimes it's scared. We're scared to hear the messages, but it knows more than what we know. Yes, yes. Um, what's this message? So sometimes you're you're conscious, you know, you're in your mind, you have many thoughts, and then you're feeling sensations in your body, and you're not sure where you're supposed to be back in your mind, your body. Whatever comes up, the step number one is to be aware. You're aware of all the thoughts going on in your mind, and then you try to connect to your body. See if you have stress or any pain in your body. You might have back pain, big um, pain in your legs. Just put your hand on it and say, what's going on? Quiet and calm, beautiful. Hmm, regrets on something that happens. Anxiety. Beautiful. Sense anxiety, even though I think I'm relaxing. Very interesting. So you see how the mind and the body can be sometimes two different spaces. The mind is saying one thing, you're thinking one thing, and the body says, hmm, maybe not. So just be aware of that. Okay, thank you so much for sharing. And thank yourself, thank you, body, for sharing. That's amazing. You're able to listen just for two, three minutes. Listen to what the body is saying. And for those who feel numb, listen to that. And that's okay. So let's do the same thing and go a little bit deeper. Okay, again, might be scary for many. Just continue breathing in and out. Take it easy. Don't push. Don't try to figure things out. Just let, just observe. And you can connect to the same thing, the same message as before, and just listen to it. Maybe it has something else to say, or the same thing. So it can be the same spot, and just we'll spend another three, four minutes and see what comes up. Okay, so let's go. A deep breath in. Become comfortable again. And just let it all out. Try not to move. Try to be aware of the sensations that comes up. Deep breath in and out. Beautiful in and out. And every breath you can feel becoming more and more relaxed, going in deeper and deeper. Becoming more and more connected to your body. Deep breath in and deep breath out. You want you can continue doing a body scan to see if there are any different sensations coming up or you can go back to that same spot you feel the sensation whatever it is from tingling to pain and just put your hand there and let's spend a minute or two just being there feeling it And we can continue the conversation to say, I hear you. Thank you for sharing. And you can tell me more. I'm listening. Or ask the same question. What is it that you're holding on to? What is it that's so hard to let go? What's pulling you down? What is the pain? What's the message? And just breathe when your hands are on that body part. And just let's stay there for 60 seconds. And listen.
there's no judging whatever it brings up there's no right or wrong let it say what it wants to say any message beautiful you're doing a great job just going deeper and deeper becoming more and more aware connected sitting in stillness connecting to your body and listening to the mess message that it has to tell you beautiful let it come out it's okay we're doing this together we're here to support each other it's amazing Beautiful. Just be aware of where you are, what you're feeling. Take a deep breath. Thank it for sharing. Thank, thank it. Thank you so much for letting me know what's going on, what you're feeling. I'm here and I'm listening. And slowly you can just come back to the room. Take a deep breath. Wiggle your toes, your hands, and shake it out. And here we are. Okay. Beautiful. So now, where did this take you? Did it take you deeper? Any different things coming up? Different sensations? You can let me know in the chat. Shame and fear in my stomach. Wow. Just be aware of that. And we have more time. You can always go back, journal, ask what is it, what is it that's coming up. Stored up emotions, anger, hmm. yes, whatever it is. Again, there's no right or wrong. Whatever came up is an amazing. Feel worry in my gut, more relaxing. Wow, can we have some compassion? Compassion for ourselves, for all of this that comes up and we haven't listened to it for so many years, maybe. Wow. Listening to the reviews of my conversations, maybe with other people or in your mind, coming aware of that is important, amazing. Too much work, too much stress. Hmm. Amazing. And you can always ask that part. We didn't ask this time. What is it that you need? Something that I can do for you. Listen to what it says. It might need just a few minutes to relax. Yes, a lot of work, a lot of stress. Dread. Thank you, so nice, very helpful, relaxing, yes. Okay, amazing, if you feel relaxing, feel that. Many times that's how the journey starts. <laughs> you know, positive, it doesn't always have to be a negative emotion coming up. Come aware of the positives coming up. Sometimes it's, it's negatives, but we're not pushing anything away. Whatever comes up, comes up. I was able to go deeper in my stomach. Regret, disappointment, shame, and anger made me cry. Mm. Wow, just be there. Give yourself a hug. Just give yourself a hug. Just your body for sharing, and it's amazing. My body started shaking, but it's still not seeing any messages of what's bothering it. That's okay. Don't push it. Don't push it. It takes time. And it's impressive to see that many of you were able to connect to listen to those messages. But many times, and me myself in the beginning of this journey, it didn't happen right away. It did not happen right away. Just connecting to my body was like, wow, what a journey. I don't know what you know these ideas were, but beautiful. If your body starts shaking, that means you're in touch, you're there, and you're listening. It might not be a conscious message, but it's shaking. That's it. Beautiful. Emotional pain, a lot of guilt. Wow. 
anger at kids, chutzpah, hard to confront them. Just be aware. Just be aware of what your body says. Just be aware. Just be aware. Again, we're not here to change anything yet. Meaning, just the idea of listening. Just the idea of connecting to our body. Every day for a few minutes. Every day, just be there and say, what is it? What's going on? What are you feeling? Deep rejection. There's probably so much under these emotions. But just this itself, write it down. Write it down on a piece of paper somewhere nobody's going to see it. Then come back to it. Come back to it for a few minutes. You know, find a comfortable spot. A time in the day that you won't be disturbed. Where you can connect to your body and say, what is it that you need? Maybe something small that I can do. Self-care. What is it that I can do that can help you? Help you let go or help you feel better? And just listen to it. And just by listening, just by letting things come up, that itself is like, wow. You're thanking the body and just hear your body thanking you for spending some time. For finally being there and being able to listen and accept and not pushing it away. Very important not to push it away. It might bring up something you don't want to see, you don't want to listen to, you don't want to feel might not be ready to feel it, that's okay. But if it does come up and you're aware of it, don't start having a conversation and saying it's not true, it's not right, you're too old for that, let go, it's been a long time ago, grow up. Mm -mm. Just let it come up. It's feelings that you have, and many times it knows more than you. That's what it is. The body keeps the score, and we feel Amazing. Okay, so beautiful. Any questions you can put in the chat? What will it help to get these emotions? Will it, with time, help clean up these emotions by solving the things that causes it? Great question. A lot of people don't, they don't want to connect to the emotions because, you know, why? Why connect to the emotions? Yeah, so... First, you know, some compassion for those who are not ready to feel, and it's not easy. Not easy to connect to those emotions, but why connect to it? It feels icky. You know, I want to continue with my life, I don't want to go back. It's, but that's really the answer, what we're discussing over here. It's in your body. You might not want to think about it, but your body keeps it and holds it. If we're not spending time and, and seeing it, spend some time to listen to it, it's going to control your life. It's going to have you stay in bed or walk, you know, with pain and all of those stuff because the body keeps the score. The body has that information. Now, by spending some time, by just listening a few minutes, it lets it go. It You know, that's how we start to clean it out. Even if you don't do any exercise, any emotional shower, what we discussed, or anything, just by spending a few minutes and seeing what is it. When you're walking around, you have your back pain, and you're like, hmm, yeah, I know what that is. I know what it's telling me. And then if you can do something small that it makes it a little easier, you can ask it, what does it need? Maybe to take some time off. Maybe to, you know, make that phone call, speak to your boss or a coworker or something to make things a little bit easier. But be connected to yourself. It's, you know, things that are, it's holding on to. So great question. Many times people don't want to connect to it. Why should I connect to it? Why should I connect to my past? You know, whatever happened, happened. Let me shut it down. But it doesn't shut down. So that's the answer in short. It doesn't shut down. It really controls. It controls our day. And, you know, you might realize certain things you do want to do, you don't want to do. Places you want to go, people you want to meet or not. It's all coming from a very deep subconscious place. And with the work that we're doing here, becoming aware, you can slowly say, okay, okay, I hear you. So now let me see. Do I want to continue with that? Maybe I want to change. Maybe I'm older now. So you're talking to that part. You're not pushing it away. And you're saying, okay, so let's see what we can do about it.
Beautiful. Amazing. Thank you very much. Thank yourself. There's a lot of thanking tonight. Thank your body for sharing and listen to your body saying thank you to you for taking some time off for being there and listening and letting whatever needs to come up, whatever needs to say. Thank you very much. Any questions and feedback, you can always send coachmenachemajima.com. The replay, hopefully we'll have them up. MenachemBernfeld.com. Take care of yourself. Take care of your body. And have a great night. I'll see you next week, Wednesday night, and Mitzvah